this video, we're gonna learn how to master electronic dance music in 345 seconds. So let's go! So what is mastering? Mastering is the final magic. It will make your song go from to... You wanna know how to do it? Let's find out! First, we need some preparation. All we need is to have negative 6 decibels of headroom in the loudest part of our song. Just put a volume plugin in the master bus and tweak the volume until you have negative 6 decibels of headroom in your output. After that, we need to listen to the song and decide what it needs. It's very important to not just random add plugins. So, let's hear the song and see what it needs. They trick your mind, they want attention Control your mind, not to mention The first thing I notice is the song sounds too dark and lacks high frequencies. For that, I will add Pro-Q3 and boost to high frequencies. I still think it lacks high frequencies, so for a different character, I will use a different EQ, which is CQ by Sound Toys. Also, for adding a little punch to the song, I will go ahead and boost the mid frequencies as well. So, let's hear the before. They trick your mind, they want attention. Control your mind. And after. They trick your mind, they want attention. Control your mind. As you can hear, just using two EQs properly makes a huge difference. Now, I want to add a little bit more punch to the drums. And I'll use a compressor for that. I cycled through some presets and found that this one works good with the track. You can always experiment with the presets to find the ones that will suit best for your songs. Just be careful, you don't want to be the preset guy that slaps only presets to the master chain. <laughs> After everything, it's time for the low end. The low frequency seems a little bit out of hand. To control it, I will use a multiband compression. For me, the best multiband compressor is Pop Filter Pro MB. I will open that up, then add a band below 120 Hz. Then we can play with the threshold to compress it as we need. After compression, we can add a little bit volume to attenuate the lost in volume. Here is before. And after. After everything, I noticed the kick has some problems in low frequencies. So let's add an EQ to fix it. There is one here. And here. Also, I noticed the lead in the chorus have some problems as well. Here is the before and after the EQ. So, we are done with the creative part of the mastering. Before we get into limiting, let's hear what we did so far. I mean, huge difference, right? Here's a bonus tip before the limiting. You can put any stereo imaging plugin to reduce the stereo information just before the drop. So this way, the drop will feel bigger. For this, we will add utility and automate the width. Here is before. You got three friends now. And after. You got three friends now. now it's time for limiting. The best limiter in my opinion is the Fab Filter Pro L2. Let's edit, go to presets and select loud general purpose limiting. And from the bottom right, select loudness for metering and select short term. This way, we can see the LUFS in the limiter. 
Let's go to the loudest part of our track and start adding gain until we reach minus 8 LUFS. That's it! Now you know how to master electronic dance music. I will randomly choose 3 comments from this video and give you free mastering done by me. Also, if you need a professional mixing or mastering service for your song, just email me at mastrixusmusic at gmail.com. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.